is the Ultra X champion. And Dante, a young competitor, a great athlete, and a former friend and ally of Nick Valentino. I think this will be very interesting to see how these one-time one partners face off in this match tonight. Hello there. Hello. Two months ago, I won the Ultra X Championship. But in the process of doing so, I hurt my right knee. Now the thing is, despite that, I'm a fighting champion. And I'll take on any challenger. So, as of right now, I'm issuing an open challenge to anyone who wants a piece of the Ultra X Champion. And the challenger, Nick Valentino, he tipped me off in the back. He said that he was going to answer this open challenge. Friend or foe, he wants that belt. I can't believe you had the inside scoop. I, this, is, this is one of those matches where, again, I mean, UCW has been around for 15 years. And over those 15 years, we have seen relationships build. We have seen them break. We have seen them crumble. We have seen them come to face-to-face uh, -face just like this. And I mean, these two men don't necessarily hate each other, but there's a lot of animosity there between what has happened between them. Yeah, and I'll say this, they might not hate each other yet, but as this match progresses, knowing that the Ultra Edge title is going to be on the line, it's going to be hard to, to shake hands and be friends at the end of this contest. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the challenger, hailing from right here in the great state of Utah, representing the hate crew, Nick Valentino. Ultra X Champion, hailing from your girlfriend's house, it's Dante Acosta! This should be a very competitive matchup. Definitely a mixed match of styles here. Dante Acosta favors more of a fast-paced, somewhat high-flying style while Nick Valentino his wrestling is, is often described as bowling shoe ugly. And at least we are going to, to start this match with a handshake. Or oh but not so fast. There was a handshake followed by a very hard close line. Hey welcome back Dante and I will say this about Valentino, no matter what tactics he uses in a match, how he cheats, how aggressive he is, he still has a pack of fans who will stay by his side through thick and thin. Now they've taken it out to the outside, fighting into the crowd already. I mean, this match is spilled out. This, you know, and that's the thing, is, is, the, is, the, is the ring, uh, the ring might not even be big enough to hand. Oh, right into the, t <laughs> the steel posts. Gosh, I don't know. Oh no, he's clearing. He's clearing. He's told the people. He said, "Move." And he didn't. Even he say said, please. "Move." No, he's not saying please. And for a match that was supposed to be a battle of allies, this here he goes. Looks more like a but no, match Nick. reversal. Oh! Into the crowd, into the empty chairs, and there are chairs everywhere. Five rows of chairs went down with that maneuver. 
And Nick Valentino took them all out with his body. And if you notice there, Dante Acosta did the smart thing. He rolled into the ring to break the count. Break this count. match is still going on. You know, it's funny. There are members of the UCW uh, universe standing out here tonight. And, and they don't mind that their chairs were just thrown asunder by Nick Valentino. Oh, and here comes Dante! Oh! And into the crowd, a huge running senton into a pile of chairs, into a pile of bones, and somewhere at the bottom of that is Nick Valentino. This match is off to quite the fight. That's exactly what this looks like. Jack Trades goes out to check on the competitors who look both worse for wear. I mean, that obviously hurt Nick Valentino, but when you throw caution to the wind, that's got to hurt Dante Acosta as well. Oh, and finally making their way back. And Acosta not known much as a street fighter, but man, he took the streets to Valentino there. Yep. It looks like everybody's getting their chairs set back up. And Nick I don't know if they should. It might, they, might, they might lose him again. Nick Valentino looks worse for wear. Ooh, and a kick to the stomach by Acosta. Ooh, big right hand. Dante is such a, a, a white. Oh! Oh my gosh! And a huge smack right to the face. There is no love lost between Nick Valentino and Dante Acosta. Full head of steam. That actually hurt his hand, I think. I think he actually caught him right on the jawbone. Ouch. Ouch for Valentino. You know, I don't, you know, that's, that's the thing. A lot of people don't realize this, is that in our sport, these are, these are strikes with a bare hand. These aren't, there's no gloves. There's no tape. These are two men using their bones to punch other man's bones. And they are hitting each other literally as hard as they possibly can. Oh, they don't want this. They don't want any more of these slaps. Oh! Dante is, has actually graduated to his oh to his other hand because he's says what now he says what now oh, oh that's the sound of a chop oh going back and forth these two are not going to let it go until one man is standing victorious over the other with that Ultra X Championship in hand. And it's turned from an athletic contest to simply a match of, I'll hit you, you hit me harder. Anything you can do, I can do harder. I can chop anyone harder than you. I know the old song. I think that's what Dante is singing Yeah. The mat. Or he's just saying, ow. Yeah, that's the tune he's singing right now. Oh. Forearm right to the face. One more time they chant. They're bloodthirsty here in UCW Zero. And you know what? Nick said, you want another one? Here you go. You know who didn't want another one? Dante. Acosta. That's right. And I got a question of uh, the tactics of Dante Acosta. At the start of this match, I would think that he would not want this to descend more into a brawl, and that's exactly what it's become. Oh! Through the legs, to the face, a huge super kick from Dante. My goodness. And if there's any salvation for Nick Valentino, it's the fact that he was so close to the ropes that he was able to roll out and perhaps save himself from taking a pinfall. As it looks like right now he's feeling his nose to see where it's spread across his face. Nick Valentino. Oh no. Obviously shook. What by has that Dante strike. got in mind? Oh, oh through, through the, the ropes, ropes onto the ground. Like a heat-seeking missile takes out Nick Valentino. The old, the old Scud missiles, as they were in the 90s. Remember the Scuds? I don't, but they I'm were the ones like we, I do. They were the ones we used. And now, whoa, What's Dante. This? Nice counter. Whoa, almost into, almost Jack into our ref. Breaks. What's he going for here? Oh, oh a pop-up powerbomb, and Dante may be done too. Uh. 
And this match wow. is over. We have a wow. new Ultra X champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new Ultra X champion representing Hate Crew. Was Valentino's trademark power bomb the back of Dante Acosta's head smacking the mat? And Valentino not giving any quarter to his former partner as he just kind of brushes him out of the ring, symbolically saying, It's my time, it's my belt. And I don't know that Dante Acosta has really wrapped his mind around the fact that he is leaving here without his belt hasn't wrapped his mind around that fact because he's trying to uh, regain his composure after his head was driven into the mat. Big win for Valentino. Dante looking at him saying, hey, I'll catch you another day. Yeah, and I think Dante Acosta, his downfall was the fact that he fought Nick Valentino's fight. 